seen him in so long. I just wanted him to come surprise him. You know, at school and everything when he wasn't expecting it. Glad to see him. Glad to get home and go uh, play outside and stuff like that. That's my chair? I think I left $20 in your bag. Oh my god. What? Turn around.
surprised. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and apparently everyone knew, and I didn't. Even I knew. <laughs> my name is Lauren. My daughter. Yeah. My ten-year-old. You didn't tell me. Because I, I don't know it. You know how she feel when he said, um, "Can I ask you a question?" I just, I don't know. I got scared. <laughs> and that's when I started back up, and he's like, "Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't even say yes." I just, I was just like. So <laughs> I was actually, we were standing up there waiting uh, I had been talking to one of the ladies on the flight and she was like very nervous so I was like, oh, I gotta pass out. <laughs> yeah. And um, so how did you feel when she said yes? <laughs> no, it's uh, I just wanted to be special. So I was happy she said yes. It's a reunion eight months in the making. An eighth grader at Legacy Middle School on the basketball court tonight gets a special surprise from his mom who's been serving in Kuwait. Our photojournalist Johnny Garcia was there for the big surprise and it was a moment this middle schooler will never forget. I'm Cortina Jenkins Sellers and this is my husband Michael Sellers. We're here today to surprise our youngest son Derek at his basketball game. I'm very excited. I just landed about an hour ago so this is really special. I appreciate you all doing this. I thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your service. He has no idea that I'm coming. I'm a little nervous. I haven't seen Derek in about eight months. I missed all the football season. Of course I couldn't be there because I was deployed. I missed the holidays. He's going to be shooting on that basket over there. So I'm just going to walk up to him. Whenever they're ready. So the plan is to call a fake tech on the coach and then we're going to have Derek go out to the line um, for two free throws. And then that's when we'll have his mom come from behind and then with the surprise. I'm nervous because I don't know what his reaction is going to be. <laughs> I'm thinking he may say, Mommy, and give me a hug. You know, we're at a basketball game. His friends are here. Girls are here. Maybe he'll cry, but then he'll be mad at me. Oh, that's all right, Derek. He cried a little bit, but that's okay. That was his natural reaction. That was Derek. And that's really the reaction I thought he would have. I don't miss you. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, get rid of her. <laughs> I do not. Petty Officer First Class Intelligence Specialist Christopher Karnbach is currently deployed to Cuba. Scheduled return home at the end of this month. He and his wife Anne Marie are both music teachers. Their children, nine year old Christopher and seven year old Abigail, both received grants for martial arts during this deployment. What do you th how do you think they're going to react? Uh, they're going to freak. <laughs> they, uh, I, I, I mean, they're going to be completely surprised. Right. So, I guess we're going to go get ready. Yeah. Kids, come on up. We have a commitment to support our families whenever and wherever they need it in any component. So it's great to be with you here today, General. Thank you much. Okay, kids. What do I need to do? Well, we got two kids and two boards. I think we need one more volunteer. The Admiral's brave enough. Let's look for one more person that uh, might volunteer. Somebody brave who's not afraid of splinters. How about you, sir? There's our volunteer right there. This has been a, a great opportunity for my children, and I'm sure as well as the other children, to, to give them something else to think about rather than their parent that's deployed downrange, whether it's um, Afghanistan or uh, Guantanamo Bay, all the various places they've been sent to.
This guy's got to talk to you. Just would you come and see, please? <laughs> I told the guy in the crib, the crazy guy in the truck was following you home. Did she see you? She did. Here she comes. Chris, I'll take my phone. Oh my god! Oh my god! My Here, hold it. for weeks now, Mom.